Hi there. My name is John Stevens. I'm pastor of Zion Lutheran Church in Oregon City, Oregon, and we're part of the ELCA. And welcome to Dollar Store Children's Sermons, where I take a look at the lectionary text and I tie them to an item from the Dollar Tree. This is for the narrative lectionary, and we're talking about God's name. God's name is revealed, or God reveals God's name. And so, some springboards, some items uh, that we are looking at, and one is um, a name tag. And, you know, the name tag, you can give the kids the name tag, my name is, and how important it is to know one's name, and how how special it feels when someone knows your name and calls you by name. There's a sense of relationship. There's a sense of knowing. There's a sense of, um, of belonging. When you know, um, when you, your name is known and when you know the name of the other. For example, kids go to school. They are ecstatic to tell you the name of their teacher. Um, the when they when they learn their parents' name versus you know beyond mom and dad when um when I heard when I learned my mom's name was Sherry and then I actually learned that it was Charlotte but she always went by Sherry you know I mean some of those things where it's like oh you get to know there's something you you get to know them intimately you get to know them uh, well and there's a depth in there and how important it is that God reveals God's name. I am who I am. And, um, and that's just this, a wonderful way of God saying, I want you to know me. So I, I'm thinking the name tag along that. The other is um, how important it is to know a name because it's important to know uh, who or what you're talking about. And I'm thinking about, I'm thinking about using an item where there's a number of uh, different names for. Um, you could maybe, you could use a, uh, um, I, I'm tangent time here, because I was just, uh, something came to mind about how uh, in different areas, well, this is the same thing. I was thinking, what I have written down is I was thinking about uh, soda. Or when I, I grew up in Idaho, we called it pop. Um, it could be soda, or it could be pop. It could be soda pop, it could be Coke. Uh, and it was never, uh, you never referred to it as Pepsi. Even if it was a Pepsi, it was referred to as a Coke. Those things where um, the, it's the same thing, but different names for the same thing. And when you learn what that was, um, and I was thinking about how when uh, you are, if you are in farming country, like berry country, and you talk about a flat, you're talking about a flat of berries, strawberries, and you, I want a flat of strawberries. But if you're in London and you talked about a flat, it was a uh, it was an apartment. Um, you talk about a uh, an elevator or a lift. Same thing. It's the same thing, but different names. And so this about how as you enter into conversation with someone, all those things help us get to know one another better. Names have power and names are important. So God, the creator of the universe, says to you and I, I want to reveal, I want to show you, I want to tell you a little bit more about myself. So here, let me tell you my name. And that is just a, I, it, I don't know, it, something about the story gives me goosebumps because it's power in that. Um, and it's, it's grace. It's it's uh, intimacy, and it's the it's I don't it's uh, maybe on the corny side, but it feels like God is giving us a big hug, you know, and that's a it's a beautiful image to me. So, all right, I'm hoping that can be a springboard for your own thinking around your children's sermon. Um, as always, thank you so much for stopping by. I value your partnership in this ministry and. Know that you're in my prayers as we continue, as we walk through this. We're still in the midst of the pandemic, even though I've got people all around me that, I mean, I get it. We really want to be on the other side of the pandemic, but we are yet to be there. So um, think about your neighbors, think about your loved ones, mask up and uh, uh, take care of one another. All right. Know that you're my prayers and may God bless you and keep you and may God's May, may God's countenance shine upon you. May God's face 
face you and may you be reminded that God cares enough about you that God gives us God's name. All right. Peace, and we'll see you next week.